Hey guys, Cole the Car Man here. <sighs> it has definitely been a while. I um, think it's been over a little bit over a year since I've uploaded. Um, but, you know, first things first, I'd like to say thank you all for 900 subscribers. That is a pretty big milestone, you know, on the road to 1,000. Um, I'll make a video on that once we hit it. But I want to say thank you guys so much for getting me to 900 subscribers. Um, so today I just wanted to bring everyone up to speed with the blazer, um, go over some things since the last video I made was in 2020 of the car. Um, I've done a few little odds and ends. Um, the miles have gone up a little bit, not drastically because, you know, I'm not really driving it all that much. I do get it out as you see, but, um, just want to shoot everybody a little video. Um, so, let's see, um, starting off, I guess we can start off in the front, um, I have completely, I replaced this bumper, and because it was rusting down here in this lower corner, and I had them repaint the grill to color match, um, so the front end has been repainted, um, obviously you can see little chips and dings and stuff, she is not perfect by any stretch of the means, but she is a good runner, so... Yeah, um, did the front and uh, I have replaced, obviously you guys know the headlights, but these little turn signals are new. The other ones I had had a little circle in them. So that is that. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, moving along to the sides, I have these body molded mud flaps I got from the junkyard um, last October, I believe, or something like that. Um, Let's see, I have new replacement LS badges. The other ones were fading. Uh, I've got the windows tinted, as you can tell, a 20% match to the rear. Um, I did the undercarriage on it. Uh, let's see here. I have resprayed the frame, undercoated it. Yeah, you can see the rust on the rocker, but um, we'll get onto that in a little bit. Uh, as you all know, the spoiler off of the 96 old bravada um, that's been holding up well no problems with that uh, i did replace the struts on the upper and lower tailgate um, i got this oem uh, chevy hitch plug i did me and my buddy painted the red to match the red emblems which i have not mentioned but i got those uh too so it has the ss emblems off of the s10 i thought it looked pretty cool when i put them on i still like it but, um, and this is not a sticker, this is actually a emblem. Um, but yeah, SS emblems, uh, almost forgot. Uh, and then I did add this little Vortec badge on the back, just kind of tying everything in together. Um, subtle little changes, as you can tell, scratched up. Like I said, it's not perfect. Um, passenger side not much that I can think off the top of my head um, but yeah I did undercoat the frame front to back front to back um, now obviously there are negatives as you can tell uh, we are starting to rust more than back in 2020 the rust is kind of starting to pop out on this unfortunately um, my plans with the rust um, I'm going to try and talk over the plane. Uh, the plans with the rust, I would like to get it fixed, but I, I'm i not sure um, how much longer I'm going to be keeping this because the miles are going up. Um, you know, it's been in the shop for a couple little odds and ends, nothing, you know, major, uh, knock on wood. But, um, yeah, it just, you know, I'm not sure what I'll end up doing with the rust situation because it's, the rockers are rusting, the passenger side fender is rusting, but it's being covered up by the mud flap. The rear wheel arches, you can see, just starting to barely bubble. Um, and at the end of the day, it's a 2004, so with 213,000, it's almost 214. Um, but, you know, I'm going to keep it up, keep doing what I need to until I potentially get something new uh, or newer, you know. Um, 
but you know she's here to stay for a little while longer you know my family bought it new back in 03 it was a brand new 04 so i really my intentions with this were to keep this thing in the family for you know ever you know to come um just keep putting little things into it here and there but i'm not sure how i'm gonna go with that um just trying to think off the top of my head what else um interior i put a uh well i had a radio installed um aftermarket touchscreen doubled in with apple carplay and all that fun stuff um i just replaced you know little interior bits um you know like the four-wheel drive switch or like the push button on the dash um uh i'm trying to think what else um oh i did do the bravada um i think i mentioned this i did do the bravada uh, wood grain window switches and stuff on it and that's honestly about it i added a steering wheel cover uh i had a dash cam in it for a little while and i use it whenever i you know i think i need it but yeah um that's pretty much it um oh new wiper blade arms even though these I got as a replacement, and they're already fading, <laughs> so that was kind of a waste. Um, new dash speaker vents, and uh, the defrost vent, and the, uh, what do you call it, the speaker covers, um, with the daytime running light little sensor. These are all new OEM parts, as you can see. Um, dash is cracked, I think I mentioned that, but uh, I do put up a sunshade to keep some of the sun out and prevent it from scratching or not scratching cracking um i mean that's honestly about it uh i did paint some of the trim on it as you can tell by the roof rack it's not done too well i would like to respray that maybe before summer ends um we are in september now so the nicer weather is going to come to a halt but um i mean that's pretty much it uh, just little odds and ends, you know, it's been in the shop for the shifter, linkage cable, brake lines. Um, it did get a full tune-up, um, about a year ago, or no, eight months ago, something like that. Um, and fuel filter, I think a fuel line or two. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, just, you know, basic maintenance on a 2004, 18-year-old. 200 plus thousand mile vehicle um just trying to keep it up it's not you know just the little rust stuff is starting um nothing you know nothing major so i just figured i'd shoot you guys a little video since i haven't in a while um so here it is uh i did just wash it uh wednesday today is sunday um so it is starting to get a little dirty the tire shine is starting to come off but yeah, um, so thank you all for 900 subs again. Uh, like I said, I'll make a, a special 1,000 subscriber video. More videos to come. I know I said this in the last video, and I've been off for a year. It's just personal stuff, you know. I, I really just haven't find or found the right, right time to film. So, yeah. Um, let me sign off of here and head back to the house. I am going to check the oil because it isn't a level spot and where I have to park it, it's not. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage to check the oil because it does have oil leaks as people would expect. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned for new videos to come. Uh, I do have a model car video I'm planning to make. I have since gotten a couple cool new additions to my collection. Um, actually one's out for delivery right now. So I should be getting that one. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for those videos and different videos to come. So thank you all for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.